Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. So today I unloaded about 10 bags from the dollar store on my coffee table here in my formal living room. I'm going through everything and I'm gonna do a huge Thanksgiving slash Christmas haul for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, subscribe to my channel and turn on that little notifications bell so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Let's get started on everything that I got from the Dollar Tree. So first of all, since I'm having a cup of hot cocoa, I wanted to share with you these super cute little cappuccino mugs. Now, obviously I don't have cappuccino in them right now, but I thought that these were really classic and I could use them for season after season. It doesn't just have to be like fall or Christmas. Um, they're just kind of a really cute classic farmhouse style mug. They have these at the Dollar Tree. I've seen other people post that they've gotten them um, like on Instagram and on other YouTube channels um, but I haven't seen them before but this one time that I went I found two of them. They only had two left so I grabbed the two that they had. I think they'll look really cute on like a little hot cocoa station or hot cocoa tiered tray. Um, that I'm gonna put together in my kitchen for when guests come so over. So let's go over some of the things that I'm gonna use for Thanksgiving first. Um, I picked up these charger plates. I can't remember if I showed them in a previous haul video or not, but I thought that they were really good to re-mention because these are really nice. They came from Dollar Tree. They have this like wood grain effect. They're a charger plate, they're plastic, they're easy to wash, they're easy to store, and it looks good with just about any decor that you have. So I did grab a bunch of these for my dining room table. I'm gonna use them at Thanksgiving as well as Christmas. Now back when they first started putting out uh, Thanksgiving and fall items, I saw these really pretty um, pumpkin plates from the Dollar Tree. They are the kind of like a melamine plate. I don't know if that's what they are, but they feel like they're a plastic plate, but they're nice. Um, so I thought that these would be really pretty with those charger plates I just showed you. Actually, I'm gonna add another plate on top of that, which I'll show you in just a minute. But I did also pick up some of these only because I've been really liking them and I've seen a lot of people um, use them in their table settings. So I thought for a dollar each, why not have them? I can always use them later on if I don't use them next year um, for the same table setting. I can always use them to put like baked goods Another on. Another dish that I picked up, which I really, really, really like. Now I don't need any more dishes. I have so many. However, I like this for a few reasons. This is a clear glass dish or a clear glass plate. Um, but it's kind of like a gray tone. So it's really like muted um, and it's gonna look really pretty over just about any charger or any other plate that you might have. I was actually thinking of putting these over these um, pumpkin plates that I got from Dollar Tree. So I would do the wooden charger plate with the pumpkin plate and then the, the gray glass plate on top, just to kind of like mute it out a little I bit. I love these, if you spot these, pick these up. They're kind of just a great everyday plate, but you can really dress them up for the holidays as well. So I think that's gonna look really nice. Right, just a few other random things that I picked up for my Thanksgiving place settings is these Thanksgiving napkins, the glare. I love the little pumpkins on the front that say thankful. Um, it's just nice to have paper napkins out for you know snacks or if you're doing chips or dip or anything like that. It's kind of nice to just have some napkins out so I did pack pick up a package of those and I also picked up a package of these really cute little um, these are the party size leaf napkins and there's 24 in there so one tip that I have for you is go to the Dollar Tree now go as early as possible so that you have the best pick on the selection of Christmas stuff that they have out it's the day after Halloween today so if you want to get anything good from the Dollar Tree, you have to get the stuff early. So head there now and find the good stuff first. So now I'm gonna show you some items that I picked up with holiday decorating in mind. I found this black chevron um, burlap ribbon, which I thought was so pretty. Um, there's nine feet in each spool. And yes, I grabbed five spools of it. I'm that girl that goes and if I see something I like, I grab 
a lot of it. So that's why you need to get to Dollar Tree early. Um, so I will definitely be using this in my holiday decorating. I love that chevron. I'm kind of going for like farmhousey glam theme this year and I think this is gonna work perfect. Another spool of ribbon that I really liked was this holly berry on the burlap. And I have seen this before. Um, this is the first year that I picked it up. I think it's just, again, really kind of festive. Um, there's nine feet in this one. This ribbon does not have the wired edge. So I like to kind of mix up my ribbon, some with, some without. Um, I use it in different things. I use it in floral arranging. I use it on my Christmas trees. So I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put this stuff yet, but I like it, so I end up buying it. And I bought four rolls. This is something new that I've never seen at my Dollar Tree before. Now I have seen the jute twine. They have a larger spool of the jute twine and they also have the nautical rope. But this is the first time that I've seen the three rolls of the really thin jute twine. I use twine for a lot of different arts and crafts, a lot of different projects. You can use it in your decorating, you can use it in your cooking. Um, so I thought three rolls for a dollar is not a bad buy, so I picked this up as well. But I really like these little mini Christmas bulbs. Now there's two different ones. This one is an ivory with this kind of like, um, it's almost like a chevron design on the ivory bulb and then there's a gold bulb in there as well that's got kind of like a pine cone-esque look to it. So there's 15 bulbs for a dollar and they're the little mini ones. So these might be really nice with these little mini Christmas trees that I'm gonna put together this year. So I did grab a package of those and I also bought these ones. Now these ones have the little sparkles on the ivory. Those are the, those are the gold chevron ones. So again, I probably don't need them, but I'm sure I will find some place for them to go. Now I've been searching high and low for these. I've been checking, every time I go to the Dollar Tree, I've been checking to see if they have them in yet. They just put them in. I'm really looking for an ivory and gray buffalo plaid or an ivory and gray plaid. Um, this was the closest that I could find and it does have little pops of red. These are those fleece scarves. Now there's so many uses that you can um, use this material with. You can make mini pillows, you can make Christmas decorations. There's so much. So if you find these in your Dollar Tree in a color that you like, definitely pick them up. I'm definitely going to be using these for an upcoming DIY. So I found two of them. I would have grabbed more if they so had. Last year, my Dollar Tree sold out on these little mini Christmas trees. Now, if you've bought these before from the Dollar Tree, you'll know they're not the best tree to work with. Um, so, because I've used them before and I've worked with them before, I kind of knew what to expect. So because of that, I ended up buying four of these little mini Christmas trees. But for a dollar a piece, um, I think by combining two together to make one along with this wired garland, they're gonna make really, really cute little mini Christmas trees. Now I'm thinking about using the elevated farmhouse baskets that I did a DIY for. I'll try to link that in the description below if I remember. Um, but I'm gonna try to do a little mini Christmas tree in each one of those baskets. So that's why I grabbed these. And again, grab these early because they do sell out. They do also have these in white. As far as the wired garland ties go, these also sold out of my Dollar Tree last year. So I wanted to make sure I grabbed some ahead of time this year because um, these are really good to have um, for DIYs, floral arranging, anything like that. So I grabbed two, package, two packages of them. Um, there are, think there's 12 garland ties in each package so I got a total of 24. I saw these I thought that they were really cute I probably will not use them as is I probably will end up kind of doing some sort of a revamp on them but for Christmas decorations from the Dollar Tree I think they're pretty cute I ended up picking up the little snowman they are 3d too so his little nose does pop out his little hands you know, are holding this little gift and it's on like a wire base. And uh, yeah, I think these are gonna make a really cute DIY things. I try to think in my mind if I can repurpose them in different ways. So that's what I'll be doing with these. But look at how cute that little Santa is. They had, I think, four different ones. I think they had a reindeer um, and maybe an elf. 
can't quite remember, but I know they did have the, the Santa and the snowman. All right, here are a couple more DIY items that I picked up from the kitchen section. Um, I definitely won't be using them for what their main purpose is. I found these little dessert glasses and they are glass um, and that's kind of what they're supposed to be for. However, I'm gonna be making um, an ornament out of these. So I wanted to buy a package of three of those and I found these white plastic kitchen spoons uh, or mixing spoons um, at the Dollar Tree. So I think these will work really well with a DIY. Um, I've seen a few different types of DIYs where they use kitchens, where people have used kitchen spoons. Um, so I have something in mind for it. So I wanted to make sure that I had some on hand for when I go ahead and make that project. A few other crafting pieces that I picked up is um, these Christmas tree. They're just called Christmas tree ornaments. They're like a felt Christmas tree. It is a pack of 12 green felt cut out Christmas trees. Again, I like them. Not sure what I'm gonna do with them, but I'm sure I will come up with something. So again, when I like something and I see it for a dollar, I always grab it. Same with these little wooden snowflakes. I thought these were so cute. The Dollar Tree is really stepping up their game on their crafting and holiday decor. Um, I know my Dollar Tree, I have a couple that are close to me. Um, one of them in particular has a huge Christmas section, like two full huge rows from the front of the store to the back of the store full of Christmas stuff. Um, one section is all Christmas crafting, and that's where you can find these really nice wooden, um, these are color your own ornaments is what they're called, but it's from the Crafters Square collection. So I always try to grab um, a few things here and there from that. If I don't use it this year, I might use it next year because I have all of my crafting stuff separated by season in my storage room downstairs. So I'll definitely, um, I definitely wanted to add this as well as these little wooden DIY stickers. Now these are really cute if you're into scrapbooking or doing pocket letters. I saw this and I really love the reindeer. I'm not so much about the full gold thing going on here. I do like the gold on the antlers, but I think I might repurpose this and make a different project, a little bit more farmhouse with this. Um, so I wanted to grab one of these. I've seen these year after year. I think I have purchased them before and used them in projects. I'm gonna do something different with it. And so I grabbed one of those. I've seen a lot of people have these um, and these are not part of the Christmas collection that Dollar Store has, but my Dollar Store just got them. And I was really, um, when I saw them, I definitely wanted to, to, to get some. So they are the little birch bark wood stems. And they're just a little like two inch stem. I think there's different sizes in here, but these ones look like to be about two inches. Um, there's a full bag of them. I actually got two bags because I thought they'd be perfect to do um, some sort of a scene. They'd be really cute in your Christmas village um, or anything like that. I have something in mind that I'm gonna do with these, so I grabbed two bags of those. So I actually bought these a while ago. I didn't do a haul on them, but I figured I would add them to this haul only because I haven't used them for anything yet, but I am going to be using them. I'm going to be making an ornament for my Christmas tree with them. I thought that they were really cute. This one says, welcome home. They're these little wall plaques with these little knobs to hang something on. Um, definitely going to be completely repurposing them, but they will be like an ornament type thing to go on my Christmas tree. So one says welcome home. I got all different shapes. This one says blessed and thankful and it's got this kind of like square shape. Um, this one is it's the little things in life. So yeah, I picked up four of these. These are going to be really cute on my Christmas tree as like a really cute ornament. Now I hadn't seen these before. I saw them. Um, these are the only two that I saw. I picked both of them up because I think these are going to be repurposed into another cute um, Thanksgiving pumpkin that I'm going to do for a centerpiece for a friend of mine. Um, so this one is just these, this one is a larger box, um, a pumpkin bar box. It says fall harvest. And then this one is a little small one. This one says pumpkin patch. The inside is really cute. This one says autumn on the inside. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to repurpose these a little bit. Um, the ones that I had before I used in a D couple DIYs, which I will link below. Um, but those ones were a different saying. Those ones were for more for fall. These ones are their Christmas version. 
Um, and this one is Peace, Joy, and Believe. So I saw them. I wanted to get them again since I really liked the fall version of them. Um, so I thought I would be able to use the winter or Christmas version of these in some sort of a DIY that I can do. These little alphabet sticko stickers. Now there's all different um, A through Z and all numbers down at the bottom. I liked the print on them. I like that little chevron print, which I might use some and keep the print, but I also thought that these would be really good to use as kind of like, um, like a decal where I can put them, put the lettering on, spray paint over, and then peel them off um, so that just the letter shows from underneath. Um, so for a dollar, I wanted to pick these up just to have on hand. I got supplies to make another lantern. Now, my lantern video that I made a few years ago was probably one of my most popular videos that I posted on my channel. I've got so many views on it. Uh, I've seen so many different variations since I posted it. Um, other people making theirs, posting it. And I wanted to do another lantern this year, but I wanna do a little bit different of a version. And this version is actually gonna hang on the wall. So I'm gonna do like a farmhouse themed lantern with dollar store supplies. Um, so what I wanted to pick up was um, four of these um, photo frames. Now these are the, there's three four by six photos in this large rectangular shaped frame. So I did buy four of these. So if you spot those at your Dollar Tree, grab some if you wanna go ahead and follow along with my upcoming DIY. Um, and then I also bought a square frame that was the same, whoops, that was the same dimension um, width wise as these um, tall rectangular frames. So this one right here is just a little wall plaque. Again, I'm not gonna use the, the saying or anything on the inside. I'm just gonna be using the frame. This is actually gonna be used as the base of my lantern. And I apologize, I didn't buy four of these. I bought five of them. So four walls, one roof, and then one floor to that lantern that I'm going to do. Um, and, it's, and it's going to be really, really cute, I think. In my mind, it's going to be cute. So we'll see how it turns out. A couple more wall plaques that I got, um, holiday style wall plaques. Um, I got this Let It Snow wall plaque, which is really cute on its own. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use it as it is. Um, it would be actually really cute as like a backdrop on my backsplash in my kitchen. So I might just keep it and use it like that because I really like that um, that like board background with the, the silver let it snow on the front. So Dollar Store has some really cute plaques going on right now. This is another one that I picked up. This is like a classic Santa Claus. It just says joy with the buffalo plaid on the front. Um, again, not sure if I'm gonna repurpose this or reuse it in some way, but I, 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 ha I liked it, so I wanted to grab it um, while they still had them because I know they go really fast. So I did grab that one. And then lastly, I grabbed this one. It's the most wonderful time. Of this, these really pretty deer in the front right here. And this does have all this like sparkle on it, which is really, really cute. And again, probably will end up repurposing this somehow. This is a huge holiday um, greenery items that I got. Now, if you want to get the good stuff from the greenery section or from like the floral section at your Dollar Tree, you have to shop early for them. I know last year um, I picked up the things that I wanted. I was going to go back and get more things and they were completely gone. So buy this stuff while your Dollar Tree still has it early in the season. Um, again, I am that girl that if I see one that I like, I will buy all of them because I know that I'll use them either on my Christmas tree. These are great to incorporate on your Christmas tree um, to kind of give your Christmas tree an extra like dimension or pop, which I will be doing a decorate with me Christmas tree video, um, maybe even two because um, I do multiple Christmas trees in my home. But these are all dollar store greenery and floral picks that I bought. Um, I've actually bought them in multiple trips to the Dollar Tree, so I'll kind of show you briefly the ones that I, I got. So first of all, I saw these. These are the Queen Anne's Lace in this beautiful, like, dark burgundy red color. Um, I've never seen these at Dollar Tree before. This is the first year I've seen them, and they are, again, the Queen Anne's Lace. So I bought quite a few picks of those, maybe eight or so. 
of the Queen Anne's Lace because I think that this will be really pretty. It's very rustic um, and very farmhouse and I think it'll be really pretty like incorporated into my Christmas tree this year. Um, also, I picked up quite a few of these little picks with the apples on the front and this is a nice full pick for you know from the Dollar Tree this is called the premium Christmas pick and I know these premium Christmas picks come in different versions this one has a um, like a holly leaf an apple a pine cone some berries like a spray of pine back here um, yeah so it's nice and full for a dollar that you're getting a lot for a dollar in that one so I did get a few of those I also got this one right here. This is another premium Christmas pick. This one has a little bit of that flocked snow. Um, this one doesn't have the apple, but it has a couple berries. Um, the berries are actually larger on this one. So I got a few of those. Um, then I also bought these cotton bouquets. And these are these um, picks that have one, two, three, four. There's five stems on one pick for a dollar which is really really good because they're actually pretty decent picks this year that they have so nice pine cone i love the little cotton um, a lot of times i clip these and we'll reuse that or use the individual picks in floral arrangements that i do um, so i got quite a few of these ones um, also i got the white queen anne's lace because they had the red and the white so there's the red there's the white um, I think I bought all that they had there. There was either eight or ten picks um, of each that I bought. Um, white Queen Anne's lace, going to be beautiful. This almost looks like flocked snow, so you could definitely incorporate this into your Christmas tree, as I will show in an upcoming video. Um, but I did grab some of those. This was also the first year that I saw these berry branches, and these are really good. Look at how nice these berry branches are. They look like they have icicles on them. Super full, lots of berries, good size. Um, this at Hobby Lobby or out of the other crafter stores would probably be like three to four dollars each um, for this, but for a dollar, this was really good. So again, I bought all of them that my dollar store had. Um, and yeah, really, really good find if you can find these. Yeah. These are another thing that I did see last year. I regretted not getting them last year. So when I saw them this year, I bought all of the ones that I wanted. These are these really pretty um, mini wreaths. And they're this mini floral on this wreath ring in the background. These are perfect to um, display if you want to put like a candle inside them. They're just really nice to use on your table settings. Um, I don't know I just I thought these were really nice to have um, and for a dollar look at all that floral that you're getting for a dollar so this one right here had the frosted berries some holly leaves in it really pretty I did grab quite a few of those and I also grabbed the white this is the white version right here so this one had the white berries with the holly leaves and um, a little bit of a few pine cones in there as well um, they did have a few different, you know, options that you could pick with these little mini wreaths, um, but those are the two that I ended up buying, and I think I bought like six of each. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that is everything. Like I said, this haul was from multiple trips to the dollar. So when I picked through it to show you guys what I got, I think I got everything, but um, hope you guys enjoyed this massive Christmas and Thanksgiving Dollar Tree haul. And again, don't forget to get to your Dollar Tree and like get your stuff quickly now while it's still there. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Click that little subscribe button down below. Turn on the notifications bell so that you're notified when I post a new video. All of my Christmas decorating videos are coming up here very soon and I don't want you to miss it. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and take care. We'll see you real soon.